Alright ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting to do this video and today was the only day I could really do it because today is when Nintendo released this trailer about the NX. Now it's called Nintendo Switch and uh, I gotta be honest with you, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. Now I know I've been a big like uh, big, big critic about Nintendo in the past. I've shit talked it a lot and I will back my shit talking. I feel totally justified in whatever I said about the Wii U and any of Nintendo's products. You know at the time I don't think the Wii, even today I don't think the Wii U is that amazing of a system. You know, it's a system that uh, has its positives to it, don't get me wrong, and I'll talk about them, but it has a lot of negatives and Nintendo just has not treated it right. But the Nintendo Switch, uh, they released a three minute trailer for it, and finally, after, after God knows how long people have been waiting for like Nintendo NX news, we finally got a glimpse at what it looks like, and I'm gonna be pretty serious, it looks legit, it looks like a pretty decent system. So for those of you who don't know, I can't really play the trailer footage on here because Nintendo has a hard-on for content IDing anything, so I'm gonna be a little careful on that. Nintendo Switch, for those of you who don't know, is basically a tablet with uh, two interesting controller uh, controllers on the sides that you can detach and put into a controller hub sort of thing. Basically what it is is it is a home console. So it is a home console, you know, it's like a Wii U, it's like a GameCube, it's like the Wii. It's designed to compete with PS4 and Xbox One. Essentially what it is is at home you leave this thing plugged into a dock, you have these two sides of a controller that you can use independently or you can plug them into this nice Nintendo Switch controller dock sort of thing and when you need to you can rip that tablet out, attach the controllers on the side, and play your game seamlessly. Now it uses cartridges obviously, and it's got some decent games on it such as the Skyrim port, which I think it is the port, the Legendary Edition that's going to be showing up at the end of this month on the Xbox One and PS4. It also showed uh, Legend of Zelda and Mario Kart and another Mario game on it that looked pretty sweet. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the Nintendo Switch, this is the news that everyone was waiting for, and me included. I, you know, I, I, like, to, I like to, I I talk bad about any company that I, I, t I talk critically about things and if my phone didn't go off and was an annoying bastard uh, this would have been an actual perfect tape but I talk about Nintendo, I talk about Xbox, I talk about any fuck up that I genuinely don't agree with. You know, when uh, the Xbox One had its crappy DRM policies, I talked, you know, I, I was critical about it. And the thing is, is when it changed, I ended up getting the Xbox One. And do I enjoy the Xbox One? Hell yeah, I enjoy my Xbox One. You know, with the Wii U, I talked bad about it because there were things wrong about it. The game, the, the system doesn't really have proper third party support. It wasn't powerful to begin with. And, uh, that ultimately led to its very quick demise. Now, do I like things about the Wii U? Of course I do. You know, I can play all of my GameCube games on it, I can play my Wii games on it, you know, some COD 4 on the Wii U. Um, and uh, I do like the fact that I can lay in bed with my Wii U tablet controller and I can play some of those games on there in bed seamlessly. I love that feature about it. And that's what I really like about the NX as well. For me, I'm a person that travels a lot. Like, I, I really, really travel a lot. So I don't really have a lot of time to be gaming on like the PS4 or the Xbox one. For that, I have a gaming laptop, which I do use quite a fair bit when I'm out and about. So now that I can travel, I would love to carry around my NX, you know, gamepad with me and actually play some of these pretty demanding games on it. Now, there are negatives to this, and I do want to talk about it. These things I think that Nintendo should do, you know, just, just as a person that really, really does care about Nintendo products. You know, I, I may not seem like it, I talk critically about it, but I do own a lot of Nintendo stuff. I've owned almost all of their home consoles. So, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't care about Nintendo. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have bought all these products if I hadn't liked the company at all. I'm just critical of it because, you know, if you care about something, you got to talk about it. You know, just to make sure at least things are acknowledged. So, looking at the Nintendo Switch, I gotta admit, it was impressive looking, you know, in terms of what you can do. For one, it's not tethered at all, you don't need to be near your game or home connection at least to use it. You can take those same games, take them outside and play them anywhere you can. But the problem here comes about with how Nintendo is going to be treating, like, other developers on their system as well. For people who don't know, Nintendo has never really been great with third-party support in their entire lifetime. They've always been a company that wants to do what they want to do and uh, likes to do uh, their bidding. They, whatever, whatever goes to their head, they like to do what they feel is right, which isn't how you do things in the world. In the world, you're supposed to work collaboratively 
collaboratively with other people and you're supposed to you're supposed to share ideas you're supposed to work with one another to eventually help not only you succeed but everyone else succeed and ultimately that is how things should be done nintendo they don't really do that which is why they don't really get a whole lot of third party support whenever people ask for the company to budge on something they always say no not at all and a lot of people end up defending this when i don't think anybody should de defend anybody with when they're not willing to compromise on such basic tasks now, of course, we've seen Skyrim show up in this trailer, which makes me a little hopeful because, hey, at least they're going out to get some games. But then again, we have to remember the Wii U also had some third party support in the beginning. You know, you had your Assassin's Creed 3, uh, Black Flag, you had your Call of Duty Black Ops 2, all the way up to Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. They just didn't bother releasing it on there. You had a fair amount of third party games in the beginning. So I hope that's not the case for NX. You know, I, we don't really know how powerful the system is, but if it's running Skyrim, and I, I wonder if it is the Legendary Edition, it looks like it, then maybe it is as powerful or almost as powerful as, say, the Xbox One or maybe the PS4. I'm leaning more to the Xbox One side. Now, technical specifications and stuff aside, as a person who follows tech very closely, understands tech, I can definitely say that tablets aren't really weak to begin with. You know, you can have some fairly good graphics going on. And with an NVIDIA Tegra chipset inside it, all layman's terms aside, it can provide for some very good visuals. For anybody who's looked at the NVIDIA Shield, for example, you know that these systems can provide very good, very amazing visuals at a, a very good power to performance ratio. You know, you, at the end of the day, if you're going to be carrying this thing around portably, you want its battery life to last, which is what makes me uh, think that maybe when you plug it in at home, it's going to run it in like 1080p. And then when you rip it out to the tablet, it's going to switch to like 720p to save on the battery life because you don't want this thing dying in like an hour when you take it outside. Defeats the whole purpose of carrying these things portably, right? So now that you've seen this console, what I do hope is a lot of, they get a lot of developers on board. For example, Red Dead Redemption 2 released their trailer as well. That game looks beautiful. Now, if it came between picking the NX, PS4, or Xbox One, and if I had a choice of NX, given that you can carry this thing around portably, plug it in at home, I would actually pick Red Dead on the NX. Now, of course, it factors in what my friends are getting the game on, but if I had to pick for a solo experience, I'd pick NX all the way. If it gives me the same power and visuals as my PS4 or even close to it, and I can carry it around anywhere I go and have that portability, fuck yeah, I'm gonna pick the NX. But that goes down to how Nintendo treats everyone else. And what makes it also interesting is now that you have a truly portable and home, con like a truly portable home console, what's that gonna do to the 3DS? You know, is it all gonna like converge into one product or are we still gonna have like the 3DS line kicking in? And I feel like that's gonna stay because the 3DS makes them like a fuck ton of money. So I don't think that's going anywhere. But what's cool is that I wonder if you can put your 3DS games onto this and have it like a 3DS player on your big screen TV. That would be really interesting. Now, of course, I'm sure Super Smash Brothers is going to be ported on. It's going to have a lot of ports. And I kind of wonder if it's going to have any form of backwards compatibility with Wii U games. Um, even though it wouldn't be a deal breaker if it did, because there's not that many Wii U games to really cry about. Uh, you know, if you if you have a Wii U with the games, you're probably going to keep the Wii U anyways. And the NX is just going to be another addition to the home that you're going to add to. So it's interesting to see that what it looks like now, things have been confirmed, at least for, uh, to some extent. Some of those leaks have been set in stone now. And I got to be honest with you, I'm actually pretty hyped for the NX. You know, and I never thought I was going to say that. You know, with me and Nintendo, the Wii U has kind of left me really jilted in terms of the games that I personally wanted. I know we had a lot of Mario games. We never really got one true brand new Zelda game. And I'm not counting Hyrule. Warriors because that's literally Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Metroid was never even thrown into the Wii U. We had Metroid Federation Force on the 3DS, which was interesting to say the least. But uh, now, hopefully, with the NX, with the sorry, Nintendo Switch. And that's sort of one thing weird about Nintendo. They always give cool looking names in the beta phase, like Nintendo Revolution. But uh, Nintendo NX is just like, I, I thought that was a cool name. It sounded flashy. Now it's a Nintendo Switch, which isn't bad. It's just kind of weird sounding. It's like going from the Revolution to the Wii. It's okay. Well, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but it's just, it's weird. But at the end of the day, I want this device to really succeed because I don't like seeing things fail in the gaming industry. You know, nobody likes seeing failure. We all like things to be successful because it helps bring competition and ultimately everyone wants a good product. Anybody that's out there to say, oh, I hope the NX or the Nintendo Switch fails, I, I think that's stupid. I think this thing should succeed and I'd love to pick it up. Uh, I hope the pricing isn't terribly bad on it. I mean, we're picking up a tablet here. I, I, if it competes with PS4 
for Xbox One prices is going to be a little iffy. I mean, it has to prove itself first. So it's, it should be priced a little lower than its competition just to attract new audiences. Because uh, right now with Nintendo is they're competing with PlayStation and Microsoft. Those two systems are already doing very fine on their own. They got a lot of competition to deal with here. They got, they, they got some pretty big shoes to fill. And looking at this trailer and from what we've seen so far, I can say that I have some form of uh, hope for Nintendo. I think this might end up being a pretty decent product. I might end up picking it up, you know? Uh, you know, if I see more on it, if it, if it, if it turns out some of my more uh, some of my suspicions in my head are turned out to be true, I'll definitely pick up the Nintendo Switch. And for once, I'm really glad that Nintendo has uh, created a pretty interesting looking product. Now they just got to execute the thing, and uh, that is going to be the very difficult stage. You know, they, they got to have really good third party support. The system can't bomb, essentially. You know, I, I really hope at one point they announce a Net Metroid to it as well, because that's one of your core IPs, Nintendo. Come on, take care of it, okay? We want to see another N Metroid Prime game come out. But uh, at the end of the day, we've got an interesting looking system. And again, they got pretty big shoes to fill, like I said earlier, and I'm going off on a million tangents, but this is some pretty big news. Pretty big news because it's one of those home consoles is going to make it and break it for this company, because... I know Nintendo has a lot of money, but they can't afford to keep fucking up royally like they did with the Wii U. This time, it's got to be a grand slam, and they got to sell these systems like hotcakes, but they also got to maintain these systems. I don't want another Nintendo console dying after like two, three years of support, considering when their competition is fighting head on head on until the very end of their generations. I want to see this thing succeed, and I know a lot of people that like Nintendo want to see it succeed. So, today has been a generally good day. We had the Nintendo Switch, we've had Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, among other gaming news, you know, but I specifically wanted to talk about Nintendo Switch because I've personally been waiting for this, just like I'm personally waiting for another Metroid game to come out. So, let me know what you think about the Nintendo Switch. I'm personally excited for it, but I want to hear your thoughts on it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like if you dislike it. There's a little bit of a different rant time, you know, I'm not... I'm not going crazy off my meds, but I just wanted to talk about something that uh, it does mean very much to it. I like Nintendo, and personally, this product has piqued my interest. I really hope, for the love of God, do not fuck this one up, Nintendo, okay? It's, you know, you, you, come on now. You, you can't. You can't afford to, <laughs> all right? But uh, at the end of the day, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, let me know. I am out.